Hey, what's up, guys? It's like uh, two hours before reset. Um, they recently did a mail on my uh, in the game, you know, uh, do it every so often, spiking um, subscribers, which is always great. Um, and uh, I know that I haven't been doing videos as often recently. Um, I wanted to do a good video on something that everybody seems to question, struggle with, or or they don't care one way or the other, but uh, because they can just buy, buy, buy whenever they want. Um, gold efficiency. Some people I see sit, I mean, if you look at my videos, there's never any gold sitting in my city. Doesn't, with, doesn't hold me back from doing well. Um, why is that? And there are a ton of reasons why. First of all, you spend less gold if you if you do a better job winning, right? Um, and winning costs less if you're more successful in this thing that you do. So the overall efficiency of your stats from your tech, your gear, your officers, done various videos um, specializing in these particular things. I'm sorry, my daughter is going to think that I'm talking to her. So, honey, I've already given you stuff you're not supposed to have. Here's a remote, here's this, here's a coaster. Just play with something. Keep yourself busy. Um, so, they, they offer, in this game especially, they offer them gold packs where you can get three tier. I mean, you can load yourself with gold. And, um, I'm going to try and escape her, see if she'll not pay attention to me. Um, so you can load yourself with gold, but what is the point? A lot of people talk about they, uh, they save their gold for an emergency. Well, a lot of times, by the time that you need something for your emergency use, you're going to spend a lot more in gold. <laughs> hey, how are you? Um, you're going to spend a lot more in gold um, in that situation. So something like this, black market. Um, pe people might save their gold for ports, right? But for me, if you, as you can see at the top right, it says refresh for 100. Every reset, I'll do the refresh for 10, refresh for 20, refresh for 40, refresh for 60, refresh for 80. And then I stop at the 100 unless I really need something. But I never need anything because I'm all, always prepared. Hold on. She found me. Okay. So let's take a look at my inventory. Now, I haven't I haven't been on a monthly uh, gold pack um, in about a month. And I haven't bought any packs. Um, now, as a vet, and a lot of you guys po probably wonder, I get a um, 7,000 gold that's what those little 1000 gold are so i'll get a a little uh pack here and there um for the service that i offer which is like free advertising obviously plus it's one better because i, I help you guys be more successful in the game which makes you spend more and play more so anyway we go to war we see i have five teleports so um if I'm not doing much moving around, or even if it's an active void, there's 24 hours. I can get a lot done with five teleports before I need any gold. Okay, and that's because I don't pay 2000 for these ports. I pay 1600 whenever I see them in the merchant here. A lot of people wait for the hot shop, and they talk all, you know, right here on the top right. They'll say hot shop, um, and they, they're all excited about it. But the, the fact is that the hot shop is still, it's a convenience. So you're paying more, a little bit more because of the convenience. Um, you're not actually saving that much. They also offer deals, um, that aren't as good as you might think they are. But in this game, in Age of Z, to speed a build or speed troops, to speed with gold costs a lot more. Than using a speed so when you can get a speed it is worth it um, when you can get it at a discount rate I should say so when you win them um, and then they also cost more 
when it's just a general speed versus a specialized speed, like a training speed, research speed, or build speed. It costs a little bit more when they have the regular speeds available because you can use them for whatever you want. Um, so the expensive part in this game is obviously teleporting, but to me, that's been, um, that's, that's you know, one of the least of my concerns because one, being able to move whenever I want is one of my top priorities because I'm an attacker and I also, I like to be mobile. Um, but I'm also sitting around here at my farms when there's nothing to do. In my realms at peace, um, for Void War because we want to do well in Void. And it keeps everybody playing the damn game. So, um, sorry, I'm, I'm speaking with uh, one of or my fellow subscribers, um, he was telling me how thankful he was of, uh, damn, she, I can't get her off my back. I gave her the Xbox controller. So, she's, she knows she's bad. She's sitting there saying, bad, 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 bad. So, she's got zombies up. Let's see if, uh, if she'll leave me alone for a minute. Hi. Hi. She's getting older fast. So, um... And I just went to physical therapy, or no, sorry, I went to my doctor today, and I'll be going back to work soon. I'm gonna talk to uh, my guy, and I will uh, be basing it off of how useful I can be with certain restrictions because I still can't climb on a roof um, safely yet because my leg still is not 100% strength back. So anyway, back to the point. What we want to do, ultimately, is make our gold worth it. So having 100,000 gold in the top right corner of your castle and always having it is never using it. If you, so if you're going to have gold and use gold, you want to use it at the right times to where you don't need uh, to worry about having it in the top right corner, right? I never have gold in my, in my castle. Never do. And I get balls to the wall and everything that I like to do. Um, yes, if I need a pack, I'll buy one. Um, but I discourage myself from doing so um, unless I've truly pre-planned. Like, I'm excited for this event. I know what I need. I know what I have. I know a milestone that I can jump real quick to make me that much stronger and perform that much better. Um, I know when I'll have the time to devote to it so that I can be more successful in it so I get more of a payback from it. But the things that um, some people don't understand is events that pay you like in Zombie Uprising. That is a very time-consuming event and it's not the most fun event for me because all it is is just basically a whole bunch of time attacks, right? Um, repetitive. And you're doing it with everybody. Um, and the more the more troops you have, the better you can do in it. Um, and me, of course, my troops are always limited because I use them. About merge, how it occurs and what... Merge is usually about money. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, so, but Zombie Uprising is a great way to get officer fragments. And even if you get a whole bunch of officer fragments and you don't get the officer you want, you always have this. Where you can trade them all right and you can go in here all the green ones I always trade the blue ones i trade except for sometimes if i'm overloaded and i got plenty and i don't need to trade them um my um attack i can't remember her name now um uh, here i'll show you let's go to my officers real quick so that zombie zombie uprising event can help you a lot with your officers. And that'll save you um, uh, by having stronger officers. means you'll do better. You won't be doing as much healing. You won't be doing as much troop replacing. Um, yes, butterfly. Very good. Okay. So she's a three star. Because if you guys remember, um, we got 80 of them fragments for free because they screwed up. Um... And instead of me knowing exactly what was better and trading them all in for, for stuff to do while Scarlet, please, baby, um, to do, you know, to do trades for larger officers. And as you can see, I put my long range attack, which is most important. 
I added mid-range attack because I never use it, and it's next most efficient attack to have. Then I went with long-range attack and HP because the stronger my HP on those long-range uh, troops, the longer they're going to be taking hits all the way there in the back row firing off, and even when they're the last thing. Um, so anyway, to do the well in the zombie uprise event pays off in battle pays off in real battle because if you make stronger officers you can um do better by killing more faster and being stronger so you lose less right okay so that's one payoff um <clears throat> merit is another thing you can get that in your um elite war see i play war and order i'm a long time veteran of war order war and order um and it's a little bit different but kind of the same so but uh, so I get confused between the what's called the Doom Arena in this game is called an Elite Adventure in that game. Skills in the purple ones, we will get more BP. You want to your your purple officers will give you for the same skill point cost for the same cost as those purple bars for the little skill that you can add on and for the um, regular xp on the officer for the same cost you get more of an increase so i invest heavily in my purple officers and then for certain things like if you want a big march and you want that little bit of a step up um you can uh use man i'm retarded um godfather you use godfather to add to your march so like when i'm doing which i can do actually now because i haven't um i'll do I do, I use intermediate training, I use him for my, uh, um, when I do my recruiting, and you can see where I added a little bit of draft, but to put those purple bars in there is not as efficient as saving them to go to the next skill for that one, but of course I'm more interested in doing my first aid and my various kill points, so anyway, um, if you're going to invest in a blue officer, you're going to want to invest in something like Butterfly, which we talked about, um, Godfather for the uh, troop um, expansion, um, Sergeant Barney for some troop speed. If you really are a big castle and you really have to worry about your hospital capacity, you you can use her, but the payoff is going to be costly. You're really going to have to... Um, um, invest in her to really get, I mean, 20,000 troops is a lot of troops. Don't get me wrong. If you lose 20,000 T9 or T10 because you're way over hospital cap and you get nailed twice in a row and, <clears throat> and they buried all your little troops and start killing your big ones. I mean, 20 K troops is a lot to replace, but it costs a lot of skill points to get there. Um, so you want to be smart and conservative, just like you want to do really well in your explorations. Of course, for me, ever since I think I was like C20, I think it was before I was T9. I think I was still T8 when I was able to do uh, level 10. Now, I get the purple bars more often than I get the fragment chests, um, which is fine now because now that I have the officers, that, that 6,000, those two six, uh, 3K bars, that XP... Can, uh oh, I think she got a hold of my drink. Scarlet, you did get a hold of my drink. Honey, give me that. No, it's dangerous, it'll cut you. <laughs> so, um, the skill points is actually a good thing to be getting because it'll, you can make your officers that you already have stronger. Um, it takes a lot of fragments to start moving up levels later. Um, like, a lot of people are getting a five-star now, but that's because they're spending the money on the uh, pack. So every daily special offers a particular officer that you can buy. But you're going to spend a lot doing that. I wait for Sunday nights, reset, and I'll buy those Elite Envelope packs. And, man, you can really, really nail it. You can spend, I think it's like 20 bucks for the last one. 20, 15, that's 35, 45, 50 bucks. You can spend 50 bucks and you can roll that dice about, I don't know how many times. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times. Um, you could get eight card officers 
um, each time on the purples. You can, I've, I've, I've uh, rolled the dice and gotten three. I don't know how to get her to leave me alone. I, I honestly don't. That's why you guys haven't seen a lot of videos from me recently because I, she's only getting more um, attached. I'm trying to do something, honey. And no matter what I give her, if I'm doing this video, that's all she wants is to bug me. Okay, so no matter what I try and get her into, it's only if it's something really bad that she's not allowed to do that she'll leave me alone for a moment. All right, so we talked about zombie uprise and the officers. Again, this video was about how to be most efficient with your gold. Um, a lot of people that have a lot of gold, but you don't see them in the top leaderboards or um, being big helps um in events to where you're really relying on them because really in reality that that gold is not actually anything because they're not using it right so you need to, you need to be able to use it and if you're going to use it you want to first cover your bases so that like me we go back to war look how many shields i have okay honey you can have the xbox controller as long as you leave me alone um, you see how many shields I have? I never, I rarely have to shield, but I don't need that gold saved up in my corner because when I see that one day shield for 720 versus having to buy it in an emergency for 900, okay, that's uh, 180 gold saved every time. When I buy a port, I'm saving 400 every time. Okay, so this efficiency, plus every week you get a free eight-hour shield. You can also get them in the store. I mean, we'll take a look. It's only the treatment center that you really need your um, loyalty. If I'm going to buy anything from the Alliance shop, it's going to be a port also. That is the better deal. Buying speeds is a complete blowing of the... I mean, maybe an eight-hour when you really have to, <laughs> but I'll use it for the one-hour buffs. And I'll use it for elite port ter or territory port and war and order, but they don't have that in this game. Um, random teleport, I'd rather just spend the gold. Um, I've done the math, yes. I don't know it off the top of my head. The, see, I only have 23K Alliance Honor. I have a ton of these Institute things, so I might as well just spend a little bit. Um, but the point that I'm getting at is if you have... The things that you will need in an emergency and you have an abundance of them then again for the same reason you don't need to have that gold in the top right corner of your screen um it's just a number and it's a it's a behavioral thing you'll have to get used to it get used to not always having that gold but let's think about every possible uh scenario where i would need gold um you don't need to be able to speed your march. That's only if you want to. That's for fun. I don't have any march speeds because I never do. Um, if I do, they're gone the first event anyway. I spend them all. It's just as fast as I can click that button, as fast as it'll engage it, I hit them all the way until I'm at the target. If I'm speeding on that target, um, whatever. I don't even count them. I don't pay attention to them. Doesn't make a difference. And my current up to, and I play three different games, four different, Four, four different games. I just looked at my uh, Google Play thing. My current um, monthly budget that I've spent so far is only $90. So I've spent $90 and um, I've played a ton of events. Um, <clears throat> and that's because I did the monthly card for two of my big ass accounts in War and Order. And that's 20, that's 40 bucks of it right there. Um, and I just started with Clash of Empires. Um, which all those games are cool for different reasons. So if you really are into the whole strategy thing, um, you can still have this game and do well in it like I am and still dabble around in other games. Um, it's also fun. It's cheap and fun to, to start in a new game. Like they always have the best sales there. You meet some new people. It's lively, but it's only lively for the first like month, two months. Then you start people cranking down, either they're dying out, they're losing interest, the new people that never played before realize what it is and they don't want to work for success, whatever. But you can have a lot of fun. So that's a, that's a whole other point, but I keep getting off tangent because I'm talking about a million things and my daughter won't leave me alone. Um, 
I was asked a question earlier. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. If you want, I can look real quick at the comments. Good skills. About the merge. Okay. So a merge would irritate me right now. I don't want a merge because a merge would mean that. Let's go here. Alliance. Or. We're not going to go to that. We're going to ranking. Um, Alliance territory ranking. YOLO. That's my farm alliance. Um, I would have to. It's got 53 different mines. I would get all the points back. To. Um, replace what I placed. I wouldn't get all that gold back. Event, but for the amount of buildings and what it would cost you get all those points back but i would have to race against that many more people that are experienced that want the same thing um to reset my whole uh farm lines okay so i don't want to merge a merge will come if people stop spending money the reason that is an obvious factor is because these games have to get paid to run for one number two if nobody's spending money then people are getting bored people are quitting um, people have already reached their objectives and they have nothing more to push for you need to keep the hype you got to keep the interest okay so that's what you're going to uh, run into for a little while and you'll see events like the top-up event um, the events that make you show how much you're spending or how much you have and are willing to spend. Um, and then they'll give you a rebound. So if you go and you drain yourself on gems in the hot shop, then they'll give you a rebound ability to um, get back all your gold. Sorry, I call them gems because in more in order they're gems. And then they'll see how much people are spending. But if it's a dead um, realm or kingdom or nation, then they're obviously going to want to... Uh, preserve the players that are still playing and that's where a merge comes in now merge is all is exciting because there's a whole new drama there's a whole new everything to it but it's a pain in the ass too because you're talking about a whole lot more people that not all experienced players not all players are fun some are just farmers some are farmers and they're good at it so they're good at taking area cluttering up and never presenting themselves to be attacked um, or they're just they're just really good at being efficient. So all you're doing is adding bodies in your way that you can do nothing about. Um, so like I did a merge. I've done a merge twice in War and Order. Um, I used to have three different realms and two of them merged. I'm, I'm only in one realm now because I don't have time to play with all them damn castles. But um Finding a monster in a monster event is ridiculous. I mean, in the first five minutes, you can't find a level 30 monster anymore. A level 29 is now 15 minute march away. Um, and then eventually you can't find 29s or 28s. Finding a gem mine or a gold mine like in this game is, is unheard of. You're very lucky at various times to find a high level mine to get on. Now, I don't ever do those, but I'm telling you right now. If you are not a spender and you are conservative, it will pay off to send on gold mines when you go to sleep or something like that. Especially if you don't need resources. You got to be careful, baby. You got to be careful. Come on. Come on. Come out of there. Come on. Let's play with this stuff. You have, but it does pay off because if you think about it, if it, costs, if it costs 720 gold, or even 900 gold for a 24 hour shield for void. You can even use your form and do one tile, one gold tile a night and have your 24 hour shield for your farm. Now my farms, I don't, I don't shield them. Um, that's a whole other respect of gold efficiency there. <coughs> if you build right and you cover your bases, you're strong, you're efficient, and you have an organization, a plan, 
Um, it can cost you nothing and you can still be successful. So all my farms, they have an organization where they congregate together. Now, I've done videos on preparation for void. Now, not everybody has time to watch all of the videos, but I try and make playlists so that you guys can go to specific things that you're wanting to learn. And hopefully in the title, normally 100% applies to the material. Sometimes I get into stuff that I didn't mean to or didn't know I was going to um under certain videos but um these these farms i'll reinforce each other so it makes these three weak farms become one strong farm you understand and you're going to want to put them in whatever farms have the higher tech because that's the tech that is going to uh, control the battle so my highest farms will have all the reinforcements inside them i hide in the lance fort um all my highest tier non-combatant troops so that they are 100% secure. And then I'll, I'll hide off in a, a flag or something. My low tier that I don't care about losing. Um, that aren't worth anything. So somebody's not going to want to hit them anyway. Scarlet, honey. There are a million, million toys. Look at all them fucking... I'm sorry. Look at all them toys. Now she's going to want to come play at the phone. Alright, so... Um, that's a whole nother respect and I've done a video on it. So if you want to learn about that, you can check it out. Uh, it's a preparation for void. Um, I do not shield my, my farms at all. These are all my farms, all of them, except this guy. That's just one of the members. I do have some random members in my farm alliance, which I actually enjoy because they donate and they keep it, keep it alive in there. They help me because I don't have time to always be on these farms doing everything. I spend more gold on my farms from winning events on flags and stuff. I don't spend anything now. Scarlet, come on. So, um, back to the merge. When you do a merge, it's based off of if you're, you're uh, many factors that show that your nation is dying. Um, when you do do a merge, sometimes they make an event and whoever the event winner is gets to uh, keep their name as the uh, nation that you go to. They keep your, their, their nation and number. Um, and I'm going to try and sneak. Let me see. My own Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to change. I don't want to change my my signal because it, it could mess up the video. Um, but I wanted to try and step outside so she'll leave me alone. Um, so in the, in the merge, sometimes they do an event, so it makes whoever wins and does best in that event um, gets to keep their nation. But that doesn't change anything on the, um, the merge, okay? So everybody has gets started from zero you you get a blank slate <laughs> um all the alliance leaders get their alliance and all their points back um but there's no buildings out there's no nothing and then you got to start from scratch you got to go i think i've done a video on this actually if you need to uh go back and get um to hear it again but you start from scratch and you put your buildings out, but you need to be very smart where you start and the path of which you go because for the first five days, you can only place one flag every two hours, okay? So save your buildings because your buildings, you can, you can pull down. So if you gotta block somebody, you can put a building up temporarily. Don't use them all because you have to wait two hours to use that same building again. Once you pull it down, you gotta wait another two hours for that. Um, which is normal in every case. But the flags, once you place one, then the timer starts. If you wait four hours to place another flag, that doesn't mean you get to place two flags, okay? You have to place the flag for that two hour timer to start. Scarlet, I, I don't know how to get her to play with something so that I can do this. Um, and this is why you don't see many videos from me because I don't want to turn off my you know viewers i don't want you guys being annoyed and trust me it, it's it's frustrating being a parent but i love her to death she's my favorite thing in the world i would give away all my cat i mean it's not even a thought 
but she's a pain in the ass. Anyway, <clears throat> so when you place the flag, you have to place the flag for the two hour timer to start. So don't wait six hours thinking you're gonna place three because you won't. All right, I have to get up her mother for work. She works for me. She told me to wake her up at 5.30, so I'm hoping that wasn't loud for you guys. Sweetie, it's 5.30. Um, so that's a little bit about the merge. It's going to be a race for territory. After the five days, it's free for all. You can just unload. So get your path. Um, and a lot of times if you're smart, you'll take your farms and make fake alliances with them. And that's when, that's where it gets key. Um, that's where it really takes some strategy, but you make fake alliances and you put alliance castles and you block your pathways. I mean, if you got to do that with 10 different alliances, you can do that. But that's the way you got to do it so you can block. Um, because there are going to be 100 people just like you trying to get out there and get the best path they can. All right, let's put my kill points on here. This is how I do. Now, I don't know. There's people that are, they must have extreme officers um people in my realm that do much better than me in this event i mean they always have more troops everybody's got more troops than old yolo that's for damn sure i never have i got enough troops to to send out a march and and refill it and that's about it so i put out one of everything all my t10 snipers all my uh t10 super laser cannons and then my uranium cannons. Now, I love those. Um, but to my best guess is the T-10s would do better. Um, so you got to make sure you have one of everything. Because it will change. And I'm making sure. And then with the one odd troop. See, I can put one odd troop. Now go ahead and pick um, another sniper at T-8. All right, so in this preset gets adjusted like every day because I get more and more of different troops. So then um, I go ahead and hit it and I always fast forward it. I'm always getting 3,600 XP ever since I was doing very poorly. Um, I always get 3,600 XP. Now, I don't know what happened. Sometimes you get reset on your standing because of when the monster was killed. Um, I just ended in fourth, but, uh, Doc's got a ton he's got a bigger army of T10 and Rico's got a bigger army of T10. Thud, I don't know if he's T10 yet. Joking, I don't think he's T10 yet. Impaler's only T9, but you saw what I sent and that I've got a pretty high attack. Now me, I'm, I'm skilled for monsters. I'm not skilled for attack. Um, but... I do okay. I'm not that worried about it because all it is is a little bit of troop speeds and there ain't never enough troop speeds, but hey, how are you? I know it's hard being Russian and trying to understand in English. I think I've already done all those. Um, uh, that's another way to save gold. Make sure you're always getting your power ore because that will add up and get you better tech. You understand uh, English, sir? I'm always very, very uh, impressed with these uh, people of other countries that know English. Us stupid Americans, half of us don't know our own language. Okay, so let me think real quick. 10%. <laughs> ah, well, that's still better than I know. I think I know AA is okay in Russian. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, all right, so we covered Zombie Uprise event. Does officers merit will give you, you can go to question mark and it'll show, it'll give you a bigger march. It'll give you a higher attack and a higher HP, which means that you're going to pack a bigger punch every time you attack something. Not only because you're attacking HP, is higher so you're killing more your troops are stronger 
but you're sending more troops. So um, I don't know how common of a belief it is or how common of a fear it is to save troops by not sending as big of a march, but no matter what battle you go into, <clears throat> the um, ratio that you'll save is versus the kills and the reward you get for that attack, it's always better to send the most. Okay, so um, that's where that is important. In here, also important. Um, I've been, I haven't even really been playing this. I played it a lot in the beginning. You guys know that. Go to your exchange store. This is what I buy first. I'll buy all the S's that I can buy, and anything left over, I buy the A's. Okay, I never buy the blues because there's no point. You win them, a lot of them. Um, in Doom Arena, I think I'm at the point where we win purple ones anyway. Um, the Power Ore is also a good thing to get if you need it. Um, but you can't buy much of it, as you can see. But um, to buy, to buy, let's see, five of them would be uh, 1250, which would be about, about my score usually if you do about uh 25k to 30k you can buy all five of them in a night but i think i think it restocks every couple days i don't remember um the skill points is not worth it to buy out of here i'd rather just buy with gold but these chests the s chests are good for overall everything it strengthens everything the a's are great they're easier to get that's the reason why that's the reason why i go with the s's first because i have a few of the a's but the a's are where the damage is at that's how you get the damage skills from um from the damage you give out and the damage you take and that is a key on top of everything else damage is a key and i have done a video on that too so um make sure that you're paying attention to um, how you're organizing your skills okay in damage you can't get a skill for damage anywhere but your gear passing how to best score more points <laughs> um so um only only gear gear um, and special bonuses and the officers, the new two officers, Alexandria and Zeus, um, higher gear and with those extension components, can you increase your damage? You can't get that through a lowered level. You can't get that through your tech. Your damage comes from things you really got to earn, which is important. Um, my castle's doing well. I'm about to have my first factory at 30, so I can start making some shredders at T10 shredders and T10 bikes. Both good for defense. Um, both okay in offense, too. I would use a mid-range. Yeah, the video. You play uh, War and Order. Okay. Um, the War and Order is completely different. Now, I did a video on it, on the... Um, infinite but it wasn't that great um it is completely different it is the first of all the stats are are different that affect which weapon and the weapons work a little bit differently and there's an extra spot on each side in the map it's different and i haven't mastered it yet because honestly i haven't put that much time into playing it um as you guys can tell i get more most of my enjoyment comes out of making a video uh, with you guys. I like doing these live sessions though. I get put in all kinds of tangents. I'm all over the place. Sometimes I, I could bore people, sometimes confuse people, annoy people um, when I do live. A lot of times when I'm recording, I end up just not doing the video because it still gets disturbed. Um, the old lady, she doesn't care one way or the other. She doesn't like these games. It's a, it's a double-edged sword with that because she likes that um that I'm doing well with YouTube videos and helping a lot of people, but she can't stay in the game. Score points in this war. This will help everyone. Honey, you got to get up. Um, now my daughter's turned off the TV. <sighs> okay, so... 
I guess in the beginning of the video, I covered the most important reasons why um, gold is important and not important. It's, it's important to, to have when you need it, but it's not important to have if you're not going to need it. And the, and the most efficient way is to buy the sales and have everything that you would need. Um, and... The stronger that you are, the more you invest in your strength, the better you're going to do in events, the less it's going to cost you to perform in that event, and the better you're going to do means the more you're going to win for your performance in that event. And then that whatever little bit you get back is still only either something to pad your pocket um, for a rainy day, like in here, I keep some gold in there because literally, if it is in my city, it'll get spent. Um, and I don't necessarily need to be doing that all the time. Let's see what I, if I get anything. Nothing worthwhile. Um, I, I always fuse these because breaking them for the purple fragments is actually um, more cost efficient than to sell them for trade. But I do want to sell because I want to get that panda fragment there. Um, if I have a ton, like on Elite Envelope night, and I spin a few Elite Envelopes, and I end up with a ton to trade out, I'll end up doing the uh, refresh up here at the top right because I end up with a whole bunch of coins because I sell all the greens and blues, which I don't, I don't really think you get much of greens anyway. Um, in this, for the zombies in this game, if you've watched my videos, I started off thinking that consolidating in one area for a real strong area was all that you needed, but it's not because you get overwhelmed. Even if your weapons are really fucking really strong, they get overwhelmed. And they can't kill everything. So you do need to be spreading out everything that's coming at you. You need to be thinning it out along the way and slowing it down. Okay? Yes, you want some strong points, which will be at the end and in the center. Because the center is going to be a catch-all except for the bottom doors. In the War and Order one, those dragons are a pain in the ass. Um, and you really need stopping points at every entry in a sense. But the, the way to go about that, to, to make it easier, is to understand that the first doors to open are always going to be the doors that are always going to have the most troops. So you're always going to want to be stronger at the door you start with, which is kind of what will naturally happen anyway. But... Um, the best way is to make it slow and decently strong killing power. Um, put your freeze orb and some killing power at each entry, getting stronger each stage at that particular entry, not overlooking the next doors that open. But then you're going to need really strong points in the middle where they're going to consolidate. And then you're going to want to really be hammering them down and killing them in masses. And then that helps weed out the odd little dudes that waste the time from your laser beams or something like that so that those beams can focus on those big, strong guys for the longest period of time. So, um, yes, I'll go ahead and I'll try and do a video this evening on War and Order. I've been getting my daughter back on a better sleep schedule. Um, since I'm going back to work soon, I want her to start going. Because I, I normally go to bed pretty early because I get up early when I'm working. So um, so these various things are important. Um, and then, in turn, you do better in this event. Sorry, wrong button. You do better in this event by having better stats. Okay, and the better you do in this event, the more you can get for your exchange, exchange store, which will, hold on, my daughter fell. Hey, come here, baby. Would you hurt your hand? 
me. Right. Well, guys, I hate to end the video like this, but I gotta take care. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. See the baby? You see the baby? All right, I'm gonna have to let it go for this for this particular video. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and putting up with this. Um, I'll be back on a little later. And please ask questions. Go to my page for information for Discord. You can chat with me. You can chat with everybody else um, in particular rooms regarding specific things. So I have my uh, all my information is on my YouTube info page. Thanks for watching, guys.